Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Have you ever been on a boat hire and wished you could go on the land instead of just the water? Well, if you're in Rollercoaster Tycoon, you can, in certain situations at least. If you put a small land bridge in between two bits of water, the guests will be able to cross it. So, how does this work? Notice that every tile of this land bridge has at least part of it underwater. As soon as a tile is at least partly submerged, guests consider the entire tile to be underwater, so all these tiles are water tiles in the minds of the guests. Therefore, these two situations are identical for boat hire purposes. This works with any boat hire vehicle and in my opinion the most hilarious one is the dolphin. There is a second way to make the boats go on land and that is to simply raise the land under a boat that guests are currently using. This will trap the guests on the tile that they are on when you raise the land. They will still move around but only on that particular tile. Presumably this is because when they encounter another tile the game checks whether the tile is a water tile and if it isn't they cannot go on it. If we now add water on one side of the tile they're trapped on, we do see that they will indeed go onto that bit of water, proving the theory. You might ask the question, is this useful in any way? From an optimization point of view, no, not at all, but you can use it to decorate your park. For example, I call this art piece the Lost Pirate. This one is called the Great 2010 Oil Spill and this one bears the name Stupid Idiot that tries to use a water tricycle on land. Credits to Max Arceus for noticing this happening when he was streaming last week. I was watching but I hadn't noticed it myself. If you want to see more boat hire shenanigans, click here to see how you can make a seemingly easy yet impossible boat hire. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.